panic syndrome. Uh, of course, if you've ever been in the middle of a panic, it's really hard to believe that you can do anything about it. But of course you can. One of the problems with uh, panic syndrome is regulation, dysregulation. That once you start to get dysregulated, it, it sort of builds momentum and you go into a panic. Erickson's work can be very helpful because you can talk to the unconscious mind directly. The unconscious mind is in, in control of your respiration. It's control of your heartbeat. It's, if I slow your heartbeat down, uh, by conversational or formal trance, at a certain point, as your heartbeat slows down, the heart, not this part of your brain, says, I'm safe. When the heart says, I'm safe, it tells every other system, hey gang, we're safe, the panic disappears. Also, the panic, the, the panic syndrome is a result of a faulty alarm system. If you have an alarm in your house, and the shakes the windows. Nobody has broken in, but the alarm goes off. And you respond to it as if there may be an intruder in my house. Not necessarily so. So you can reset various alarm systems that we have in our uh, uh, unconscious awareness so that the wind can rattle the window, there's no alarm. If somebody smashes the window and attempts to enter, you'll take appropriate action. It's you know, much more rapid. You don't have, a, to have a, an in-depth understanding as to what causes this exact panic, and it can be very easily handled. I've worked with a lot of people that panic around flying, and that's something that can be relatively easily dealt with. Yes, very, uh, very accessible and effective with panic.